Welcome back to Advanced Excel Training. We are going through all the topics you need to know for the MOS Excel Expert Exam. Here's where we start getting a little more complicated with functions and formulas. But we're going to break it down and make it easy to understand. Remember to hit the like button and to subscribe for more awesome videos. In this video, we are going through Objective 3.1, Applying Functions and Formulas. We will have a look at how to insert functions into formulas. We will perform logical operations using the if, and, or, and not functions. And we will perform logical operations using nested functions. Let's start with learning how to insert functions into formulas. To really get the most benefit from your Excel models, you really need to expand your formula range and include worksheet functions. Excel includes dozens of these functions and they are essential to making your worksheet more powerful. To insert a function into your formula, enter the formula up to the point where you want to insert your function. On the Formulas tab, in the Function Library group, click the category that contains the function you want to use. Then, in the Category menu, click the function. In the Function Argument dialog box, enter the function arguments. In this case, we're going to say yearly sales is bigger than or equal to 100,000. Then we're going to add true and false, and then click OK. Now that we know how to insert a function, let's look at how to perform logical operations using the if, and, or, and not functions. These functions are designed to create decision-making formulas. You can bring a great deal of intelligence to your worksheets by allowing your computer to perform logical tests on its environment and then allowing it to act in accordance with the results of those tests. The most common logical functions are the if function, the and function, the or function, and the not function. Let's go through some examples. The if function allows you to return a value or a statement when the logical value is true or when the value is false. In this example, if the logical test is true, such as 2 is greater than 1, it will reflect the word true. And if the logical test is false, such as 1 is greater than 2, it will reflect the word false. Now let's look at the AND function. The AND function will return true if all the arguments are true. If one argument is false, the result will also be false. If both function arguments are true, the AND function will also return true. For example, the compound statement 1 is smaller than 2 and 2 is bigger than 1 is true. This is because both statements that are being joined by AND are true. However, the logical statement 1 is smaller than 2 and 2 is greater than 3 is not true because 2 is not greater than 3. And if both statements are not true, the AND function will return false. In the case of the OR function, it will return true if one or more of the arguments is also true. For instance, the compound statement 1 is smaller than 2 or 2 is greater than 3 is actually true since 1 is less than 2. It does not matter that the statement 2 is greater than 3 is false because you have the choice of either 1 is less than 2 or 2 is greater than 3 to make the compound statement true. So, if one or both of the arguments is true, the overall OR statement will also be true. However, if both arguments are false, such as 3 is smaller than 2 and 2 is bigger than 3, then the overall OR statement will also be false. Now let's look at the NOT function. A formula that uses the NOT function will return the opposite of the logical value. For instance, the statement NOT FALSE will actually return TRUE while the statement not true will actually return the value false. Now that we know how these functions work, let's get a bit more complicated. You can create sophisticated logical tests by combining one or more logical function within a single expression. Placing one logical test within another is called a nested function. The if function is ideal for making choices based on the logical test. 
we'll start off by doing a simple if logical test on its own, and then we'll nest other functions within it. The if function is also called a conditional function, because the value that the function returns will depend on whether a specific condition is satisfied. The structure of the if function is as follows. If logical tests, the value if true, and then the value if false. You can use this function to branch to different values or actions depending on the specific condition. Let's consider the following example. If a salesperson's yearly sales are greater than or equal to 100,000, the salesperson will get a 10% bonus. But if his or her yearly sales are not greater than or equal to 100,000, then the salesperson will not get a 10% bonus and the cell that contains the function will return the value 0. To insert the if logical function into a formula, on the formulas tabs in the functions library group, click logical, then click the if function. You can then enter the arguments. In the logical test section, you can write yearly sales is greater than or equal to 100,000. In the value if true, write yearly sales times the 10% bonus. In the value of false, write zero. Notice that the if function returns zero because the salesperson did not meet his or her target of 100,000. However, if we flash fill the formula, we will see which salespeople did reach their target of 100,000. Now let's add the AND function. Remember, the AND function will return true if all arguments are true. If one argument is false, the AND function will also return false. Let's consider the following example. A salesperson will receive a 10% bonus if their yearly sales is greater than or equal to 100,000 and if they have been at the company for 10 years or more. But if the salesperson did not meet their yearly target and has not been at the company for 10 years or more, he or she will not receive a bonus. To insert this logical function into a formula, you can do the following. Enter the formula up to the point you want to insert the function. We will enter equals, if, and open brackets. Then on the formulas tab in the functions library, click logical. You can then select AND. In the first box, you can add length of service is bigger than or equal to 10. In the second box, you can add yearly sales is bigger than or equal to 100,000. And then you can click OK. Excel will let you know that the formula is incomplete. You can then add a comma. This will take you back to the IF formula. Then you can fill in the value IF TRUE, which will be yearly sales times 10%. You can then add the value IF FALSE, which will be 0. Remember to close your brackets and complete your list using flash fill. You can now see who has been at the company for 10 years or more and who has reached their sales targets. We will now combine the if and the or function. Remember the logical or function will return true if one or more of the arguments to the function is true. Let's consider the following example. The company is feeling a little bit more generous this time. So a salesperson is allowed to receive a 10% bonus if their yearly sales is greater than or equal to 100,000 or if the salesperson has been at the company for 10 years or more. If the salesperson has met their yearly target, but has not been at the company for more than 10 years, they will still receive a bonus because one of the statements is true. We will start with the IF formula by typing equals, IF, and open brackets. We will then add the OR formula by typing OR, and opening brackets. We can then add the logical test. The first one will be length of service is bigger than or equal to the required years of service. 
You can click F4 to create an absolute reference. The second one will be yearly sales is bigger than or equal to sales target. You can then click F4 to add an absolute reference. You can then close the brackets and add a comma to return to the if function. Now you can add a value of true, which will be yearly sales times 10%. Click F4 to create an absolute reference. Then add the value of false, which will be zero, and close the brackets. Using Flashful, you can see who will be getting a 10% bonus for being at the company for 10 years or for reaching their sales target of 100,000. Logical functions can be difficult to grasp at first, especially if they're nested into larger formulas. If you get confused by a formula involving one or more logical function, take your time and carefully study the function arguments. Study one function at a time until you understand the logic. You can test the conditions and the values that the function will return. By understanding each individual function in the formula, you will soon understand the entire formula. Thank you for watching another video brought to you by Advanced Excel Training. I hope you have a better understanding of these functions and formulas. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button down below and subscribe for some more awesome Excel training videos. In the next video, we'll be going through the rest of Objective 3.1, Applying Functions and Formulas. We'll learn how to use statistical operations such as sum ifs, average ifs, and count ifs. I look forward to hosting you in the next video and hearing from you in the comments section below. I'm Deborah Gray. Until next time, happy advanced Excel training.